Hello, Stefan Nelson, CEO Unisat. What inspired you to create Unisat and focus on the supply chain traceability? We got the inspiration actually from my co-founders, which is my wife and my daughter, which had a problem with finding good food and they have some food allergies. So they were trying to find a solution where they could actually be sure about the products uh, or ingredients in different products, but they couldn't find anyone. And then I came from my side, working from the enterprise uh, with SAP and, and big companies, uh, and had ideas about how we could solve these problems with blockchain. So how does Unicert leverage blockchain technology? So we use the public blockchain as a global data layer, which I have experienced from my, from my 20 year experience from SAP, that there is a lot of uh, disconnection between companies. There, there is no good way to actually integrate between companies. Previously you built point-to-point -point interfaces, but what we can do with the blockchain is to, to create one global data layer that every actor in the supply chain, from raw material to the processor to the distributor, all the way out to end consumers, where they can connect to the same data layer and exchange information very securely. You mentioned something special about data monetization. So could you please tell us about it? Absolutely. That's one, one benefit uh, additional to the blockchain over just being a data layer. What we also can do with the blockchain is to monetize data, uh, as we say, uh, which means that our customers can now put a price on information, yes. which means put a price on, on a location or a temperature or a weight, and now start selling that and buying and selling information with other actors in the supply chain, and thereby creating new revenue streams for themselves. Okay. So uh, Unisot mentions life cycle assessment. So how does your platform contribute to sustainable supply chains? Yeah, so by enabling all the actors in a global supply chain to exchange information with each other, we also enable them to register all the important information about how much energy, how much waste, the quality of the product and so on, so that we can create a very, very exact and specific uh, life cycle assessment uh, report or a scope 3 report or any sustainability report because we are collecting information directly from every source system in the whole supply chain. Compared to today, uh, life cycle assessment reports today and, and scope 3 reports today is often based on uh, assumptions, big assumptions about this industry takes about this much energy. So it's just an assumption, but what we can do with the blockchain and our solutions is to take the source information and make a very exact and accurate report. So now we have a demo, right? You will show us. No, I have no, no demo at the moment. I can show you our yes. product. So what we are launching here uh, at, at GTEx 2023 is our halal on-chain, where we have a producer who is importing halal meat from Australia. So we put a, a, a QR code on the boxes where they now can prove that it's actually halal and that it's actually high quality. The same thing here, we have uh, Italian olive oil where we're helping this Italian olive oil farmer to prove the quality and the origin of this olive oil by having a QR code with a, that goes to a digital product passport. And the same thing here, we have for example, uh, oysters from Sweden. So they can now prove that it's actually high quality so oysters. So they scan the code? Yeah, you scan the code with your mobile phone. All the data related to this product. Yes, and you get all the proof where it comes from, ingredients and, and the quality Expires of it. Expires and production. Yes, okay. yes. Thank you. Thank you.